three weeks. Like, let's say a month. Yeah, a month worth of stuff. Just been collecting in our room. Just literally in bags, just sitting there. We haven't moved it, we haven't changed it, I haven't worn it. But we're gonna show it to you guys. So let's get started. Yeah, Sarah's gonna go first, because she has... Well, I have a lot of things, but it's like a mixture of like, high-end, kind of, low-end. So, I'm just gonna go by like, randomness. First and foremost is this Adidas top from Urban Outfitters. I don't know if it's an Urban Outfitters exclusive. I believe it might be because I have not seen it anywhere else. It's like a velour material. It has the red three stripes on the sleeves. And then the back is like the cutest part. It has a little heart with the Adidas logo inside of it. The crop top. So yeah, cute. On to the next one. So this I got from an Adidas event. We got to create our own shirt, but they only had like five designs to choose from and I didn't get that creative with it. I wish I got a little more creative with it. <laughs> but I got the NYC logo right side. It's the running logo. Yeah. So it was like the running event. But yeah. Yeah, it was like all based around the Ultra Boost. They had um, gray or navy colors to choose from and I'm not a navy gal, so I got the gray. Next we have some random things from Brandy Melville. This store is always like a hit or miss. It's very true. Like some days you walk in and you're just like, I'm in a 12 year old closet. <laughs> and then other days you walk in and you're like, oh my god, there's so many things. So, I, I love my basics, let's first say that. Always. Always, so, basics. I got this basic button sleeveless white top. I can rock this with like shorts, denim, sweatpants. Like a white top you just always need. Like you can never have enough white tops. He will disagree. I, mean, I feel like, you know, if you have enough for the week, it's enough. You guys, I don't know, you let us know. How many white tops, basic tops do you have? No, You're wearing five. white now. This is a hoodie, first of all. It's white. But it's a hoodie. Alright. What do you got next? This is totally random. Like, it's not even something that I could see myself wearing, but I still bought it. <laughs> a grunge 90s vibe to it. Yeah, little. It's basically just like a blue and gray plaid cropped button up blouse. I love it. I don't know why I love it. It's just like not me, and like sometimes it's good to not be you. But yeah, I would probably wear this with like black joggers or even black denim. Just keep it simple because I feel like the top is like more of a statement piece. So you want to keep the bottoms pretty simple. Guys, this is never ending. <laughs> Hopped into Aerie. Sometimes you find some cute stuff. Like the other day I found this cute like bandeau and matching biker shorts. I got this cute like tangerine color bikini. And they were having like a 30 or 40% off sale, so it was like $40 total. And originally, I think they're like $25, $30 a piece. It has like the cheeky bottom, which I like. All you know, about them cheeky. You know all about them cheeks. Should we move on to Zara? This is not just a regular Zara, though. This is the Hudson Yards new mall Zara. Oh, whatever. It's still Zara. I mean, the bag is different. You didn't notice that? No, this is a different bag. This is from a different store. No, this is a bag from the Hudson Yard. Oh, true. <laughs> yeah, I guess so you like walk around New York City and people are like, oh, there's a new Zara. So I got this bright orange stop to shine and find me when I'm lost in the city. Yeah, you know, that nice worker, construction worker, neon orange vibe. It was this or the neon yellow. And I already have like a long sleeve neon yellow, so I was like, let me try the orange. This was a tan though. So excited. Oh, and it's like stretchy. It doesn't look as small as it looks. All right, let's just move on to what I see next. So I'll show the shoes. So about three weeks ago, Misha and Mano were just walking around Soho and we decided to step in um, the Adidas on Spring Street. Which we highly recommend because they have a lot of stuff that you wouldn't expect to just be sitting on shelves. Yeah, like you, if you're like a Yeezy fan, like you can walk in and buy Yeezys. Even Ultra Boost, like they had the latest collab with the Ultra Boost, just chilling. Yeah. And their Yeezys and all their releases are first come, first serve, apparently. So, 
Yeah, well, one time we walked there, they were like, you guys looking for Yeezys? Like, they were just trying to get rid of yeah, them. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So these, oh, ooh. <laughs> So these are called the Adidas Sleek. It's just so me. Like, when you look at the shoe, it's just like if I designed it. I'm such a Stan Smith, the basic bitch girl. So this <laughs> is like the upgraded version. Now everyone wears Stan Smith, so not everyone's going to be wearing these. And it's just so, like, sleek. Like literally, it's literally. called the sleek and it's just so sleek. And it came with a pair of neon yellow socks. So when we went to Hudson Yards, we popped into a store called one, no, 4510. And well, first Menwa and Cheyenne popped into the store and then I met up with them and I was like, what are you guys talking about? The store is broken down into five different sections. Streetwear for men, streetwear for women, and inside the streetwear woman, they have like a small like vintage section. And then they have the like high-end section where you find like ready to wear off the runway. Anyways, like I mentioned, we just walked in and we were like browsing and I was like, I really fuck with this store, but it was very expensive. Like simple t-shirts were like a hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, I was able to find a good price on a shirt and I'll show y'all. First of all, how cute is this packaging? So cute. I hate opening packaging. Oh, I really like the bag. Like... Yeah, the bag is fire. This is so nice. I feel so bad opening this. <laughs> and the associate who was helping me was such a sweetheart too. They're not like moody or like judgy in there. They're actually like helping you. So I got this evil eye shirt from the brand Veda or Vita. Who the hell knows? I got it in a large because I like my shit oversized. And I thought it was cute. I thought the like ombre effect was cute. Like it goes from pink to like a light cream to black and it's like a faded black. And it has the evil eye so you guys cannot evil eye. Is this the evil eye? I'm pretty sure it's like their version of the evil eye. I think it's the third eye. You think so? Huh. Third eye. Is third or evil? It's literally just third eye. Alright, so you can't third eye me. <laughs> I think the third eye means you're... It's like your spiritual eye. Yeah, whatever. I'm pretty spiritual, so... Next is a store that I've been to once before. Well, who like, got you hit? You. I'm not, you don't let me talk. I know. So, I went in there like two years ago and I think I was like, oh god, this is like one of those annoying stores that people are just like hype up. <laughs> and then Sean was like, oh, let's just go back. Like, him and his sister one week ago and he said that it was like pretty dope. So I guess the store has changed because the first time I walked in, it was like, everything was like non-wearable. Like, it was just like screaming like, look at me, attention, and I hate. I hate. Like I like effortless looks, so yeah. that whole store was screaming like too much effort. <laughs> but also you gotta remember when we went in we didn't realize that there were steps around the... Yeah, we didn't really like look around the whole store, we just kind of like stayed in the main area. Yeah, we thought it was like two levels, but it's actually four. By the way, the store's opening ceremony. <laughs> yeah, we this whole time we're talking. <laughs> So this time we walked in and I was like in love. I was like, oh my God, like everything here I would wear. But check it, show the bag. Oh yeah, the bag is super cute. The bag is fire. That was a dope bag. I'm gonna use it when I go thrifting. She's all They don't get bags out here. All right, so first thing I found is this shirt. It's kind of like that scuba diving material. That's what it reminds me of at least. Like it's like active wear -ish. The brand is R-E-N or a Ren. They describe it as a half zip polo. <laughs> no so, way, that's a polo. I love a good contrast stitching and this has the orange like stitching. I don't know what I'm gonna wear this with though. I feel like I need like black denim. That's like, oh I have black denim, but I don't think it's gonna look good with that. No, I don't think it's gonna look good. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna look good with like baggy. Yeah. I don't know what to wear this with. Figure it out. So, they had some matching leggings online, but I don't know how I feel about matchy matchy with it. Next are. This was. Eh, no regrets. This was a good pickup. So. Nike box. So, these are the Air Max 95s. Um, so, little backstory we were just like 
on like the second floor kind of of the woman's section and so I was like oh my god look at these shoes and then I was like oh my god why are you showing me these like <laughs> why are you showing me these like I was like in love at first sight and once again it wasn't my like like I wouldn't normally go seek for these kind of shoes because I'm not big into Nike first of all and second of all the color is not me but this shoe fucking fire it's fire <laughs> like look again with the contrast stitching <laughs> so it's like a light blue periwinkle clear part with the stitching standing out so like if you guys know the 95 it has a uh, stitching that goes around with three different colors usually but this one has one color and then the other three is just like like a plastic or something i guess I yeah know. i don't know what material they used for it but it's a nice shoe overall the only regret i have is that it's gonna be hard to match i really don't think so i did get a shirt to match it to my defense oh yeah true 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 i'll show you guys that in a sec same day so this is the last pickup Old reliable. Kids men's section. And we went to the women's and everything was literally the same for like three months. Like I don't know what's going on with kid woman drops. Yeah, I don't I really don't know. And I just like the men's section more. So I got this blue oversized obviously tee. It's like that faded marbly blue. And the material is obviously nice, like it's kid. It kind of has this distressing around the collar. And I got a small for men. So I tried on the small and the medium. And the medium just made me look like I was trying to be a boy. The small like kind of like was snug around my chest and then kind of loose going down. So I like that. And my voice is getting raspy. Yeah. And it's getting too late. But, yeah. I love how the, the salesperson was like, yeah, you know, we just got these in and Sarah and I were both like... Pretty sure they had this last time I walked in. Now I can go to bed. Oh, yeah? Good night. So I guess I'll start off with what I got at um, the Hudson Yards. You know, pretty simple. Can't go wrong with some nice socks. Got the Stan socks right here. Three pack of the classic. Got it in black, white, gray. And it was for like 25 bucks and I was so psyched about that because I was telling Sarah the whole time I was like I need just like plain socks for the summer too. I can't just be having wild ass designs. Even though I fuck with wild ass designs. Gotta have some plain socks in the rotation, you know what I'm saying? But Stan should come out with the woman's version of this because I need some of these. So like Sarah said when we were at the Adidas event, we got to make our own shirts. And shout out to my guys at the Brooklyn Press. They let me get back in line to get this design done. So I did the thank you for running with us tea. It's in that like, you know, if, you, if you've if you shopped at any of the bodegas here in New York, they have the thank you for shopping with us bag. And this is basically what the design was based off of. I didn't even know that. Yeah, so I told them to do a cream at first, and then I waited until basically the event was coming to an end. Went back to the guy, I was like, yo, so can you do a layer on top of this? I got him to put the red layer on top. It's a fire fucking look. I can't lie, I was so happy when I got it out. I hope I, my like voice doesn't sound so like nasally. My shit is stuffed, all right guys? This one, I'm really excited about this one. It was the uh, Kip Adidas Foot You Wear 97. Collab. Oh, I'm sorry. Foot You Wear S 97. And um, I got the copy in the neon colorway. And it's just like, this is the perfect summer shoe. Like, straight up Sprite vibes up in this bitch. So the suede on this bitch, like, you know, if you guys know Kith, you know that they just, when they do a shoe, it's all about the materials and colors. So for this one, I mean like they got 3M up in this bitch right here at the front toe box. And the Adidas logo is stitched in the front with that neon. The only thing I wish is I got a half size down. But like, we can still make it work. So, hit up Palace. And then, luckily they still have this shirt in stock. So psyched about it. And I think it's just the perfect match to this shoe. It really is. 
We have the green palace shirt with the lemon pro palace. I mean, I think it has something to do with like the Greeks. I have no idea. But it has the patch in the front and then the same thing in the back. I got an oversized too. I got an XO because like, you know, it's, that's just the vibe. I want to be loose, comfortable. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be loosey goosey. Little tip for you guys, keep these bags because they're perfect for traveling. Put your sneakers in it, put it in a suitcase, you don't have to worry about your shit getting scuffed, ruining your other clothes. I have like, I kept all of mine. Kids, I think, used to sell their stuff inside bags. They used to. No, they don't. Men I used to use them, that's how I got the idea. So you guys remember, I was, I was debating in BBC. Should I get this? Should I not get this? I really wanted it. We ended up leaving the store, not getting it. Just to turn around, go back. And your boy copped the Basquiat. This was the new 200% bear brick. And the thing that's crazy about this is my man at BBC was telling me, this is heavier than the 1000%. Like, that's crazy, this little thing is heavier. And it is, this, this is not, this is no joke. And the cool thing about this bear brick is that you can move it in all sorts of directions. The legs, the arms, the head, like, am I crazy? Or am I fucking, am I right in this purchase, guys? Come on. I'm honestly, I got no regrets. No regrets. Not even a letter, motherfucker. And then my last purchase. I feel like mine was like a 20 minute segment, or isn't it a five minute segment? Like Your legit, it was 20 minutes. <laughs> The camera stopped recording in 20 minutes. I've been eyeing these freaking Pada pieces. Pada, P-A-R-R-A. -R -R -A. And of course, when I finally get to go and see the ones that I wanted, opening ceremony didn't have in my size, Kith didn't have in my size, but luckily Kith had this one design that I had never seen. Turquoise shirt, oversized all day with some white and black design. I don't even know, it's like hands with Pada written all in different places. Like, it's just some abstract shit that like will catch someone's eye and it'll match perfect with like summertime vibes, you know what I'm saying? But I would say I was 20 minute haul, you know? My five minute haul. What are you gonna do? That's it for this one. Now we're gonna go pass out. Peace. To the Middle East.